the the question of of the the sort of near ubiquity of DMT is a, is an interesting one, and it reminds me of a, just a remarkable uh, trip story that somebody told me once, where they uh, uh, were deep in in some you know ayahuasca space, and they were traveling through the cosmos, and uh, they encountered this planet, and on this planet, everybody was was just mainlining DMT. That's what they that's what they did, and they they he established some kind of you know psychic contact with these with these aliens, and they were just absolutely horrified that to dis, to to recognize to discover that in the world where this guy had come from, that DMT was incredibly ubiquitous because on their planet, it didn't even exist. And they had to go out and like conquer other star systems just to get their DMT. And that we would be living with this, you know, this luxury, this extraordinary abundance and waste all our time, you know, getting and spending instead of, you know, going to the, to the mother source. Um, but there is something kind of peculiar about that, about that setup. I mean, to speculate on why that is, um, you know, I, I, I'm not really sure, but it, 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 does, uh, it does lend itself to a kind of science fictional uh, uh, or fantastic kind of vision wherein it, it's sort of, it's kind of the key. It's kind of the, the reality construction key. It's like, uh, and so it makes sense that hidden in our in our game universe, in our constructed uh, reality, would be these little Easter eggs reminding us of where that that kind of reality construction uh, comes from. I mean, that's just speculation, but that does there does seem to be it's it's difficult to just kind of write that one off.